shot. In this video, I'm going to go over my top 10 tips when it comes to making builds in the Division 2. If you're here in the hopes of understanding how to create a build, I'm hoping you'll have all the basic concepts to get started by the end of this video. One last thing to mention before we get started, these tips aren't in ranked order, so number 1 isn't any more or less important than number 10. So with that in mind, let's get started. Number 10. Have a plan. In order for you to create any build in The Division 2, you'll have to have a vision of what you want. I recommend starting with a build that you think would most complement your playstyle. So if you like to run and gun, you might want to focus on a more tankier build. If you want to make the most out of your skills, you'll want to make a skill power build. The more familiar you are with The Division 2, the more apparent the different build options become. Number 9. Set up your loadouts. You don't have to have builds ready to name the loadouts that you want to shoot for. It's a good idea to really think through what six builds you want to work towards and get them set up and named in your loadout menu. If you're not familiar with using loadouts yet, it's definitely worthwhile to learn. It'll streamline how you switch between your builds. Another huge bonus while utilizing loadouts is that you can easily swap your best gear mods from one build to another. Whenever you save a loadout, it remembers everything, so it will strip the best gear mods from one build and move them to the one that you're equipping. This is also a good way to figure out which gear mods you don't need, making inventory management a little easier. Number 8. Know what loot you can use. You're going to get a lot of loot playing The Division 2 and it can be kind of overwhelming, especially when you're trying to put together multiple builds, but you don't want to salvage or sell an item that has an awesome attribute or talent that you could use for recalibration on one of your builds, so always keep a lookout for gear that you could use to upgrade your builds. Number 7. Get comfortable with the recalibration station. You'll be using it a lot. In order to optimize an above average build, you're going to have to recalibrate attributes and talents. I've got a tutorial on how to use the recalibration station if you're interested. Just click on the link in the upper right hand corner at any time. Number 6. Figure out an inventory management system. With all the parts and pieces you'll need to keep for optimizing your builds, you're going to have to figure out how to keep the good items separate from the ones that you don't need. It's not a whole lot of fun sitting around at the base of operations trying to figure out what to keep and what to throw out, but you'll naturally come up with a system to deal with it as you get more experienced. If it becomes too overwhelming, try focusing on just one or two builds at a time, or at least until you've got a good way to systemize your inventory and stash. Number 5. Know how to get materials for recalibrations. You'll naturally accumulate all the materials you'll need for recalibrating gear, but if you're doing a lot of recalibrating, the materials won't come fast enough, especially the electronics. Look for the large tunnel systems on your map. Those are the best places to get materials quickly. Number 4. Understand attributes. If you aren't knowledgeable about the various attributes and how they work in creating a build, you'll have no idea what you're doing. There are three types of attributes. Damage, Defense, and Skill. Damage is represented by the red circle, Defense is represented by the blue shield, and Skill is represented by the yellow battery. If you're going for a DPS build, you'll want as many damage attributes as possible. If you're going for a tank build, you'll want a bunch of defensive attributes. And if you're going for skill power, you guessed it, you'll want as many skill attributes as possible. The type of build you're going for will determine the balance of the three different attributes you'll want on your gear. Number 3. Research the different types of gear talents. I'll put a link in the description of this video to a list of the different talents you can have on your gear. I'll also supply you with other relevant links, so if you want to dig deeper on any of these tips, you'll have a place to go. Anyway, different pieces of gear can have different types of talents. You'll want to figure out what talents there are so you can make an informed decision on how to recalibrate the gear in your builds. Number 2. Don't forget about specializations. Some types of builds will work better with certain specializations. For example, an explosive build would complement the demolitionist specialization. If you're going for a DPS build, the sharpshooter has some really great perks that would complement it, like faster reload speed and weapon stability. So. Just get comfortable with the specializations and how you can buff the perks with different types of builds. Number 1. Research. 
Knowledge truly is power. If you check out the links I provided in the description of this video, you'll have all the information you'll need to make an informed decision on which build options you could pursue. Learn about the attributes and talents. Know how to use the recalibration table and loadouts. Figure out a system for keeping your gear organized for recalibrations and identify the large tunnel systems for grinding materials. And although knowledge is power, experience is what gives you wisdom. So come up with a plan and execute. You'll learn more along the way. One last extra tip I'd like to give you before we wrap up this video is about set bonuses. Figure out which six pieces of gear would work best for the build in regards to set bonuses, but don't let the set bonuses prevent you from using better pieces of gear. In a perfect world, you'll get all the set bonuses you want and the attributes and talents that you need on those specific pieces of gear. I mean, have god builds lined up and work your way towards achieving that, but along the way you'll find that the attributes and talents will get you to where you need much sooner. You can always replace gear in your builds, so just keep making your builds better and better over time until you can get the set bonuses and attributes and talents all lined up for the perfect god builds. So let's quickly summarize the 10 tips. Have a vision for the types of builds you want to make. Set up your loadouts and name them so you have an outline of what to look for in the loot that you get. Before salvaging or selling gear, make sure to check it for attributes or talents you could use to recalibrate the gear in your builds. Get comfortable with the recalibration table, you'll be using it a lot. Figure out a system for managing your inventory and stash. Use the large tunnel systems for getting quick materials. Research and understand the different attributes. Research and understand the different gear talents. And think about how you can complement your builds with the three specializations. And last but not least, just start working on your builds, even if they're not perfect. Just optimize your builds over time until you finally reach that perfect build. Anyway, I hope this video has given you some guidance or ideas on how to proceed with making different builds. So what tips do you have for creating builds? Let us know in the comments section and if you like this video, please consider dropping a thumbs up on it. If you want to help support the Havoc Gaming channel, a subscription would be wicked. Thanks for watching and Godspeed.